Right, so some of you guys might have seen on Facebook, Instagram, or that YouTube post I did. Got a new mower turn up yesterday, day before, day before yesterday, so it's been two days now. Um, so today we're gonna do a first impressions on this bad boy. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So today we're gonna to be doing our first impressions on this Swarbman Electra. So this is a 2020 model, so it's got a few new features um, just by looking at it. Pretty impressed so far. So I'll run you guys through um, basically how this thing works, but it is battery powered, so I'm gonna have to learn to start charging batteries well now. <laughs> I've got a mower that's battery powered. Um, I've never personally used battery powered mowers before, but had a quick go on this thing yesterday and I seriously think it is awesome. Um, mate, I'm impressed. We're gonna run it through the whole lawn today so I get my real first impressions of what I think. See you guys how I think, like let you guys know how I think it handles, um, how easy it is to use and what the quality of cut is like on this thing as well. But how good is this color man like? Mm. I love a good red color. So there's a couple of things I want to mention about this unit that I've noticed that they have upgraded since I used the old um, Edwin 2.0, so the petrol version. Um, this is the newer model, so they've done a few upgrades. So I noticed that these reels are a lot thicker, which is seriously a massive bonus, because as you guys know, sometimes I hit the wood chips over on the edge there, which is why I got rid of the wood chips out of the garden beds. Um, but you could ding up the reels a little bit easier. Now that they've upgraded these reels, so much better. Adds a bit more weight to the mower. Um, which also comes to, makes me come to the point that this thing is a lot heavier as well than the old model as well. So it's not gonna like float across the lawn like the old mower did. Um, this is a bit of a bigger unit too, so that might be why, not 100% sure, but definitely feels heavier and a bit easier to get rid of those wobbly dobs on your lawn. Um, another thing is they've upgraded the rear roller. Definitely does not sound as tinny anymore. Um, transport wheels are still there, they've put a nice heavy bar between the transport wheels as well, which makes it feel a lot more solid. Makes just the unit feel a lot more sturdy. Then the handlebars are a lot um, sturdier um, compared to the old unit as well. That's one of the complaints I had about the old unit was that the handlebars felt a little bit sketchy do. They were the main things, like the handlebars I wasn't too happy with and the reel I wasn't too impressed with on the old unit either. Just wasn't quite as thick. Whereas this thing is just like dead set. It's beautiful, boy. So good. And it cuts paper like crisp as, like, that's not contacting, and it's so good with paper. Right, well, so those are the features I've noticed so far that they've improved on this thing. Um, obviously, as I go to use this Mara a little bit more, I'll let you guys know what I think of it and what I think might, you know, might not be that great, but seems good so far. The thing is, this is like a first impressions video, not a review, so like, if I want to review this mower, I need to use it for a while to know exactly how it works and find out the little intricacies of this mower itself, but first impression so far, looks pretty good. Only thing is I've got to make sure I charge it because I suck with electric stuff <laughs> and batteries. <laughs> right, so we'll give this mower a bit of a crack. Um, obviously our high adjuster is just here, like with the old unit, so I've got to set slightly below 15 mil just so we cut some grass off today. Um, but you turn it on around the back here, you flick this little switch on. So we pull that switch out there, and then we come up the top, and we basically have to turn it on by pressing OK. And then if you want to engage the reel, you hit lock and then pull that down just there. All right, so that's pretty quiet as you can hear with the reel engaged there like that. So the reel's on, so what we're gonna do now to get it moving is hold this which engages the rear roller. Yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty quiet unit like that's pulling itself. I can up the speed now by hitting that plus and we can see it's starting to go faster, which I think is pretty cool. Or you can slow it down. I'll probably want it in the middle there somewhere because <laughs> otherwise I'll run into a fence or something. Um, but yeah, that's how it works. Um, and when you do up your speed as well, the, the cylinder or the reel will adjust um, the cutting speed to your ground speed as well, just so you get a nice clean cut on it. Cool, all right, let's give it a crack. Let's put the um, catcher on and let's give the yard a mow and just see how it goes. But for example, if I was to mow, I'm gonna show you this first, sorry, and cut. Not, it's not really that loud. Alright, anyway, let's give the cut now. Oh, 
Oh, one thing I had to mention too, to go backwards, it's got a reverse button. So you press the R here, and it reverses, oh, which oh. I've got to get used to that. It is weird. I'm used to just pulling it back. So that is something that will take me a bit to get used to, I reckon, but I'll let you know in long term what I think of that. Can you manually pull it? Yeah, you can still manually pull it back, so if you really wanted to. Hold up. Yeah, so you can do it either way, it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, so pretty happy with the quality of that cut. As you can see, it looks probably hard to see on okay, camera, but it does look pretty good. No torn grass blades, it looks crispy as me. So unboxing this thing was pretty straightforward. Came in a box <laughs> with some foam in it. Um, I was supposed to film it and I did not film it unfortunately because I forgot about it. Um, but basically the handle was just folded down and the catcher was in a separate package and that's basically it. That's how it came. It came with a bit of charge on it. Came with a battery charger, came with some instructions. Um, so the instructions are pretty good. They tell you how to start it. Um, if you press the plus and the minus button, you get 0.65 kilometers per hour increase in your speed. It just basically tells you how it all works, which is good. That is handy. Had a quick read of that before I started. Um, but yeah, I'd be interested to see. Actually. From what I read somewhere, these things are supposed to last the battery on them about 14,000 square meters. So I'd say I'll probably get three cuts off my lawn with that. Um, but I just did a double cut on the front and the back on the fully charged battery. And it's only, it's only dropped a bar, so I'd be interested to see how true that actually is. I'll let you guys know in a future video. Seems like it might get more out of it than what it's saying on here. I, d I guess it depends on how much you're cutting off as well. So you can't really get a proper guesstimate, if that makes sense. So this is the Electra 55, so it is the slightly bigger model, which is handy for this backyard. A bit more added weight to it as well, so it's about 59 kilos, um, which is awesome, like seriously, 59 kilos is great. Still not crazy heavy, but still not really light that it's just gonna float across your turf surface as well. Um, and they did send me a couple of cartridges as well, so I'll just grab them and show you guys. So here's what came in the box, got our battery charger there. I'll make sure I use and <laughs> do not forget about it. Um, and then we've got a couple of cartridges here as well. So this is the scarifying unit. So it's gonna help pull out below ground thatch. Can you use that on the cooch or the tiff tuff out the front once spring hits? I'll show you guys how that works. Never used a unit like that. I've, I've used like a, a scarify with heaps of blades, so that'll be interesting to see how well that works. This one here with the blades, which is basically like a little groomer. Is that right? Have I got that in the right order? Yeah, no, that's right. Because it's only got the gap against me. So that's basically like a groomer. Which I think they call... What do they call it? Here we go. So they call that a birdie cutter, that unit. The one with the blades. That's a birdie cutter. And the other one is the scarifier. Okay, that's cool. So basically the, the birdie cutter is going to remove the thatch like above the ground. So I'm going to use like a groomer basically. I'm going to try it on the tiff tough. Um, next season. I might even try it on the rye once we hit 
middle of spring when this starts to get a little bit thatchy it tends to actually get quite thick because it is so dense and I chuck a lot of seed down on this lawn <laughs> and then we use the scarifier cartridge to really rip some stuff out on the tiff tuff as well when we do our spring renovation when I get rid of that bent grass so this would be awesome to try those out um, I'm keen for that um, yeah and I'll tell you what the system on changing those is ridiculously easy that's one massive positive about these things um, is how quick you can change your cartridges around like I remember on the old old unit I had we actually got some grass off today too it's a full catcher um, dead set all you do is take off that cover under the belt there's two like screws there you undo and then it just lifts out so simple and straightforward so I'll show you guys that sort of stuff in a future video heaps more videos coming up with this mower um, and show you what I think of it but yeah first impressions very impressed all right well that's better for this video thanks guys so much for watching looking forward to using this thing in the future especially once spring kicks in only a month and a half to go so we're getting close boy i'll test it out on the tiff tough too obviously you might even try it on the rye and um the green out the front just see what it's like this won't cut down the greens height that's the only thing so i won't be trying it on the bent but we'll try it on the little patch out there and see how it goes maneuvering in smaller spaces as well just try a couple of things with it really to put it through its paces and let you guys know what I think. But yeah, really appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it and you have a good week. Right, well I thought I'd come out the front and just show you guys the green if you stuck around to the end of the video. Um, it's looking pretty good. Cut the front lawn yesterday, looks pretty crisp. We go over to the bent. It has definitely, definitely improved a lot. Like, significantly. Still been keeping up the weekly um, maps of that urea or the nitrogen i did cut it back to half rate though just so it wasn't too hectic on it but it's looking good the rye's still going absolutely nuts on this area too but the bent mm, it's looking good